Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome to my channel. Today I have my daughter with me. Hi. This is Ansley. And what are we going to be painting today? A bluebird. A bluebird. We're going to learn how to paint and draw a bluebird. What are we going to be using to make the bluebird? Watercolor. That's right. So let's get started. For a complete list of my supplies used in this project, see the description below this video. Let's start by grabbing our pencils and drawing the bluebird on. I'm going to start by drawing a semicircle, kind of far to the right of the paper and swooping over to the left like this. Okay, next we're going to draw the wing. So I'm going to start a little bit left of my semicircle, swoop again to the left a little further, and that's going to be the bottom of the wing. Now you try. Good. Okay, now we're going to do the head. So I'm going to start at the top of the belly and make a round curving shape, sort of like a half circle for the top of the head. And I'm going to bring it all the way down and touch it to the wing. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the beak. We're going to do a little triangle for the beak, like that. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, next we're going to add two skinny little tail feathers. One, two, right under the very bottom of the wing. And now we're going to add the legs. So I just take two lines kind of angled out like this for the legs. And then a straight line, flat on the ground, for the feet. All right, what is our bird still missing? An eye. An eye. So let's just add a circle for the eye. And then I like to do a little kind of eyebrow straight across. If you want to, you can add a few feathers. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm gonna outline my whole bird. Very good, your bird is super cute. I love it. Okay, so let's set the Sharpie aside. And are you ready to paint now? Ready. Ready. All right, I'm using a set of watercolors by Winsor Newton. It's just a Cotman set. It's got 12 colors and I love this set for beginners. It's a great starter set. So buy something that's a little more quality that you'll actually enjoy painting with. Okay, each of us has a cup of clean water for rinsing our brushes. And here's your brush. We're gonna start by wetting the paints with a spray bottle to activate the paint. And we're just gonna use a blue. We'll use this ultramarine blue right here for our blue bird. And we're gonna be using this burnt sienna for the bird's belly. Okay, so watch me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by painting with just water on the wings of the bird. You see that? So we're just going to paint with water first. Yes. And I'm not painting the bird's belly. I'm just painting the wings and the top of the head with, we could say, painting it with white, with the water. You want to try? Yes. And try to stay in the lines with your water because wherever your water goes, that's where the paint is going to go. So we don't want the paint to bleed along the edge at all. Okay, now we're ready to take our blue paint. I'll start and we'll just drop it into the wet water. You can take more paint so that your blue is even darker. 
So less water, more paint. Okay, now rinse your brush to get all the blue paint out of your brush. And now I'm painting the belly with water. All right, let's take the burnt sienna next. Make sure you're getting lots of good paint color. Mm -hmm. That's a great color, take even more paint. So cute. Okay, rinse your brush really good and then dry it on your paper towel. Okay, now you've already painted your tail and that looks really cute, but I have not painted mine yet, so I'm gonna paint mine blue. Now we're gonna let this dry. So let's just let it dry for about 10 minutes. Okay, now that our painting is dry, we're going to add something really fun to this painting. We're gonna add some splatter effect. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, and what color do you want your splatters to be? Yellow. Yellow. Let's spray the yellow paint to activate that. And I'm gonna make mine this green color. I'll actually use a couple different greens. And make sure your paint, your brush is really wet. So wet your brush first. I know, it's mine is already a lot wet. Okay, so grab some of your yellow paint. And then dip it in the water one more time just so it's really wet. And now you just take your brush and tap it like this. That looks cool. I love it. Did you have fun? Yes. Well, good, that's what we wanted. Okay, our paintings are mostly dry, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the tape. You ready? Ready. This is such a fun part. I think that turned out really great. What do you think? Good. Good. <laughs> there. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. We had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for watching.